Hi, my name is Mark Hill. This is Marks on the Grill. How's it going, everybody? I didn't bring you in for this part uh, of what we're doing in the Blackstone because this is almost like a low and slow, just like I wouldn't bring you on for uh, you know uh, hour three to five of you know cooking the brisket. This is uh, this is one of these steps. Oh, by the way, um, uh, what we're doing tonight is like some uh, faux fillies. Now, uh, the reason I call them faux fillies, we made the mistake one time of making a fill, uh, like a Philly cheesesteak, and I put peppers on it. Woo! Woo! I want to make the internet mad. I'll tell you what, and then just put Philly cheesesteak in the title. Well, Philly cheesesteak doesn't come with peppers on it. It comes with meat and mushrooms, and that's it, fat boy! <laughs> <laughs> Daisy's upset. Yikes! So I have to do a redemption video. But in the meantime, uh, we had some, uh, check this out. We had some uh, chicken, some smoked pork, and some smoked, uh, what was that? Oh, ooh, beef Ooh, tender boy. Huh? Yeah. So out of that, you make the faux fillies. Hey, before I scoop these off, um, I'm gonna just gonna give you a whole bunch of good like uh, sandwich tips in this episode. Just just little things that are gonna make your sandwich a sandwich or an experience, okay? And the first thing you want to do is whatever vegetables you're gonna do, slow it down, man. Just let it go. All right. Uh, so yeah, listen. Like I said, a lot of sandwich tips tonight. And and first time, uh, first things first, low temperature with butter. We've been out here for a good 45 minutes, and and and, and look at the payoff, you guys. Here, I'm gonna scoop this one up. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at that gold. That's gold. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you. It makes a difference. Take a little extra time. If you're in a rush, you're in a rush. I get it. But if you got the time, I've got the shrooms. There we go. All right. There we are. All right. All right. Oh, the peppers. Come here. Check these peppers out. Ooh, isn't that nice? Look at that, man. That comes from slow. It's not burnt uh, and then, like, shriveled. It's still got that plumpness. It's still got that color, right? But you got that low and slow char and that little butter that's down there, I love it. And that big chunk of spice, by the way, is something we're gonna talk about in a few minutes because we came out with Marks on the Grill, spices and rubs, and we spent a lot of time, man, traveled a lot of miles figuring that out. Look at these onions. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's butter, time, and patience. All right. Uh, Blackstone's a great way to go, whatever flat top you got. Or if you've got a grill mat, it's not quite as easy, but you can do it. All right, all right, there we go. <laughs> so guys, watch this. Uh, um, we have traveled to so many countries, worked with so many chefs. Uh, we've eaten in so many restaurants, man, with like, the best uh, beef and stuff in the world. So uh, we've come up with what we think is the absolute best, best, best combination of salt, pepper, garlic, which you know if you've been watching my show for the last couple of years, what we love to use, right? But there's so much out there, so it's like, what works? What's that perfect combination, guys? Check this out. You know, a lot of the salt, pepper, garlic that I've seen out there is just like little granules. Come on in here. Are you kidding me with this? Mm -hmm. We got five different kinds of peppers in there. We've got uh, imported Himalayan sea salt. And you see those big chunks? You know what that is? That's garlic. Are you kidding me? We used elephant garlic. <laughs> not, not little granules, not salt, but actual like big, big, big chunks of garlic, man. Uh, listen, go on to my website, marksandthegirl.com. Have a peek. Okay, uh, you'll find them on there. We got them on for nine ninety five. dollars uh, We've got chicken, we've got pork, we got fish, we got uh, salt, pepper, garlic, the whole bit. Check it out. You'll love it, love it, love it. All right, so for the meat of the sandwich, all right, uh, especially when you're doing like a Philly esque type of thing, it's okay. But we're going to kind of give this a nice chop, all right? So listen, don't worry too much uh, about chopping this up or about uh, overcooking it. You want to char on this for sure. You're gonna have cheese on the bun, you've got moisture in the mushrooms, you've got moisture in the peppers, you've got moisture in the onions because you didn't cook the crap out of them on high. So you don't have to worry about the meat, uh, you know, losing a little bit of its, uh, you know, juiciness from when it was on your, your plate on the on the first night. There we go. All right, so sandwich tips. All right, so when you're doing this, guys, look at this. This is what you want. This is where the flavor is, all right? If you just wanted to heat this stuff up, throw it in the microwave. That's where your flavor is, right there. As soon as you see the meat starting to do that. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down a little because for the next stop, we just want to, listen, the perfect sandwich takes a bit of time, okay? Don't rush this stuff. Check this out, guys. Always, always, always salt, pepper, garlic, kind of towards the end. There we go. Because you don't want that burning on you. That's not the taste you're looking for. You want that to just kind of, oh, look at that. There, look at the char, come on, guys. Oh, there it is. There it is. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we have uh, five people and eight buns, so we're gonna make a sandwich for everybody and then a couple of extra ones because these are the best things, man. Make them ahead of time. These actually reheat really well mm -hmm. if you've got an air fryer, if you've got an oven, so I guess that means if you live indoors, these actually really, really, really heat up nice. So um, I recommend Amarosa buns, even though I don't have any. 
<laughs> so, tonight, you're getting what you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do the first couple, uh, sort of plain, all right? Because we got a couple of folks that just like plain. So we're gonna go traditional full Philly, mobili Philly style, which means just mushrooms, I'm guessing. All right, so let's go ahead. One scoop, usually does the trick. These, these are just kind of our plain ones. There we go. That's why I'm pretty sure it's that. But in case I'm wrong, just to keep everybody happy. Uh, we worked with a guy named Aaron at uh, uh, Jim's Steaks in uh, South Philly, man. It's one of those uh, like like top three places you got a Philly cheesesteak in Philly. He was so cool to work with. Uh, he was loading them all up. I loved it, man. He was been he been slinging these things for he said 18 years or something like that. Like holy, that's awesome. It was so fun to work with him. All right, and because these are faux Phillies, I don't care what kind of cheese I'm putting on it. So uh, it's kind of one of these, uh, it's what I had left. <laughs> we had some pepper jack and we had some cheddar. So we're gonna do that. There we go. All right, isn't that looking lovely? So mm -hmm. now, uh, here's my next tip. Like I said, Amarosa buns, if you can get them. Hoagies are at uh, every one of your local uh, grocery stores. These do not need to be toasted. They don't need to be buttered. This is not that kind of sandwich. You want this, like by the time that you've, you've, you've kind of wrapped this up and it's in the tin foil and it's sat there for like a few minutes, right? Almost like letting a steak rest. When you bite into it, it's just a whole becomes one. That bread kind of takes a bit to get through, and then the meat sops up the cheese, and the onions, and the mm. oh, God, so good. All right, here, look, I'm losing, the, losing it here. Let's put that there, mm -hmm. and let's put this here, and make sure we got one of these bad boys. Look at it, look at it, look at it. And a bit of water. Don't worry about the bun. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I can tell how awesome it's gonna be. Not yet. Not yet. Mm -mm. No, sir. All right, so here we go. Come here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Watch this. If you've made these before, you know what I'm feeling. It's that sponge. It just pops right up. And you know what? Even if your bread is a day or two old, no problem, man. Just make sure you hit it with a little bit of that steam and check that out. That cheese is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And this is now where you're going to get, and this is, this, is, this is the coolest, the best char. Ready? And here it is. There's that char right there. Walk it over. Walk it over. And let's roll them up. Now, guys, roll these up in tinfoil right away. Uh, they'll stay warm for like a long time, right? And they're just gonna they're gonna steam right inside there. So there's that one. Let's do the next one. Oh yeah. Ready? Oh. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna do. Uh, let's do two with mushrooms and onions. All right, mm. getting real now. Getting real now. There we go. Okay, and then we'll do two with all of it. And then we're gonna do two with all of it and my uh, uh, cheese whiz. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, we gotta stretch this out. Oh, the onions are really lovely. Aren't they nice? Like yeah. I said, man, they do my sandwich tips today. Make sure that you just take the time a uh, third of a stick of butter on each pile of veggies, all right, and just kind of separate them out. You're going to be so happy that you took the time to do that. It makes the biggest difference in the world. Yeah. All right, here we go. Remember, Amarosa, if you can get them, hoagies if you can't. There we go. And there we go. Nice water. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ready? <laughs> Ow! Oh, yeah. Well, the chef hands aren't going to save me on this one. <laughs> okay. Look at this though. Come here. Look at this. Oh, it's still bubbling. That's the best, man. And these, oh, this bread. Oh, <laughs> this is like my favorite thing to do on the Blackstone. It's some form of a hoagie something. Something, something. You know what I mean? Now let's look at the other one. Uh-huh. There we go. All right. There we go. I love the last few that are made. Because <laughs> that has been sitting there so long and just get that. Just look at that. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. All right, so now these ones are everything. Ready? Here we go. Mushrooms. There we are. Some onions. Oh, boy. There we go. Now these two are not going to have the cheese whiz. We're saving those for the two good ones at the end. All right. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. Oh, did you see that? Oh. oh, I love it. 
Peaceful? All right, here we go. Or I forgot the bun. Huh? That's what happens when you go out the night before. Beautiful. And think you do this without a hitch. Oh. Yeah. No problem. Two seconds worth. Of more steam. All right, a couple more. There we go. So, hey, listen, as I'm doing my last couple, like I said, we can't. Here we go. Oh, we, we can't miss this. Ready? Huh? <laughs> so when we started the show, we said it was all about like lots of tips and tricks for just the best sandwiches. So slow cook your veggies, like we said, use the right bread. The right bread is so important, all right? Make sure you got a cheese that you like, it's gonna complement what you're doing. The bread, if you're doing Phillies, get the Amorosas. There we go. Oh, man. Always steam those buns, don't toast them. That's not what you wanna do, you'll dry things out. Oh, we got one more over there. There we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can do I can do that a hundred times and that will never ever ever get less gorgeous. That's the sexiest thing in the world there. Sorry to the lady holding the camera. That is the sec second sexiest thing in the world there. There we are. Mm -hmm. Cutting boards. By the way, uh, head on over to marksonthegirl.com to check out our cutting boards. We teamed up with, as I fix this, Carolina Cutting Boards. You want to know why? Because these guys not only are fourth generation woodworkers, and have access to just the best stuff out there, raw materials to make these incredible cutting boards. But, 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 check this out. These are all handmade in the US by veterans, their spouses, and their families. That's easy to get on board with, all right? Like I said, head on over to uh, marksonthegrill.com. That's marks with a C, pretty sure. <laughs> and check these out, all right? Uh, there's a bunch of them on there, but just know that if you got a gift, uh, you know, giving occasion coming up, if you got like a hostess gift where you want to bring something on a board and then just leave the board as a mm -hmm. gift, huh? Not just a hat rack, my friends. This is just a cool way to go, all right? And again, handmade in the US by veteran spouses and their family. Pretty good. All right, two more. Two more. There we go. There's that one. Now, this one. These are dead. These ones are dead. Okay. Okay. Open there. There we go. One tonight and one sometime this week. These reheat so well. There we go. Perfect. The last two. All right. And peppers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. And onions. Oh, let's do this. There we are. Oh, so nice. And those. That's really pretty. There we are. We're stuck here. Perfect. Oh. All right, a little more. Scoozy. There, 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 and there. That's a little bit of steam. <coughs> That's really good. Uh, so, uh, in conclusion, uh, butter, uh, no steam. It's all about butter. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I like your in conclusion. There we go. All right, that looks a little better. That feels a little. Listen, no, no yeah, no, no sandwich before it's time, right? Ouch! My oh. God, that's hot. Ready? Ouch! Yes. One more time. <sighs> there we go. That is so nice. Oh, a little bit hit there. Swiggy's so happy. So this one, hey, listen, this one I'm going to leave right here for just a second. All right, so this gets a little steamy. Let it get a little steamy. Let me grab the last one. I'll do one more. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here, last one. Last one. Here's mm -hmm. Oh, we got a cheese pull out of that, too, so we can find that somewhere in slow-mo land. Yeah, like I said, we got some tips from the best when we were up in Philly, man. All right, roll you up. Ooh, and the sub is still standing. Mm. There we go. And in here. All right. And oh, gonna... what? What? Oh. It's lovely. Oh, that's so nice. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's have a nice bite of this. So now, you see the cheese there, right? Mm -hmm. That, you let that steam for four or five minutes, just gets all gooey ooey. There we are. Mm-hmm. You know what I just realized didn't happen? Cheese bowl? The cheese whiz didn't happen. Oh. So, before we go, I'm so sorry. This may not be the best way to do it, but I can't have one of these without cheese whiz. So, we are just going to improvise 
right there for me. One big bite. All right, I'm not gonna make you watch me chew this. My name's Mark Gill. This has been Marks on the Grill. Try these little sandwich tips. You're gonna love them. They're gonna turn out. And and right before I choke, uh, Trish is gonna like sign off. Guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Uh, Mark Gill, Marks on the Grill. Have a nice night. But I'm not oh, stopping there. I like it. Hey. Mm. It's the pool. What? The pool. Do it. Fun. Do it. Mm. Don't choke. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>